So just as the carpenter has to nail those basics, yes, that was a carpenter pun, so do you have to nail the basics of your sales business. So if you wanna stop sucking at selling, you have to master the basics. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. I am your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, hmm. All right. It's episode 130 of the Sales Wolves podcast. Um, lone wolfing it. Joseph will be on the next episode. I promise. Well, I don't want to say I promise, but I think. But today we're going to go at it alone, and uh, that is just fine by me because today we're going to be talking about sales, and sales is kind of a uh, it's kind of a lone wolf game, and specifically, I just want to be quite frank and talk about why you suck at selling, and so that's the title of today's episode, episode 130, why you suck at selling. As I say that, I understand that many of you don't suck at selling. Many of you are, are crushing it uh, in sales. But whether you do suck or whether you are excelling, there are things in today's podcast, uh, which is going to be a quick one, uh, that you can take and that can make you better. And so there's really three main reasons why you potentially may suck at selling. And this is based off of a blog episode, blog episode, a blog article. That's what blogs do. They do articles, not episodes. Uh, but it's off my website, which is tylerjackharris.com. So if you want to check out the full article, go there. And there's plenty of other blog articles there as well. You may not have checked out before, uh, tylerjackharris.com. Um, but we're going to take some information from that article and dig into it a little bit. So the first reason why you may suck at selling is because you think the basics are for beginners. The basics are for beginners. You couldn't be more wrong. Uh, there are certain quotes, memes, you know, expressions out there like, you know, what got you here won't keep you here. Um, and you know, there's some, there's some, um, you know, some truth to that, uh, but it's out of context. When it comes to sales, what got you here will keep you there, and what got you there will get you to the next level. And it's the continuation of those basics and the increasingly um, efficient, the increasingly efficient, um, what would be the word there? The increasingly efficient use of those basics that will ultimately get you to the next level. And, you know, so the basics are the foundation of what every salesperson does, right? It's a phone call. It's, you know, maybe a door to door interaction. It's some type of prospecting, um, conversation. And then there's the art of the deal and there is the close. And then there are objections. And then there are, you know, how do you handle those objections? And then Again, the close and ultimately coming to a, um, you know, mutually beneficial situation, which is an actual closed sale and you making some money, them either having a product or service or something that benefited them, hopefully. Now consider, you know, this, this analogy or this story, and it's the one that we used in this article, which is a carpenter. So a carpenter as an apprentice, they learn basic framing techniques, how to quickly compute, you know, miter angles and how to swing a hammer and these and other things that carpenters do, which I'm not a carpenter, but you know, let's just say that those are the foundations of the trade. As they move forward in their career, they pick up all sorts of advanced techniques, but if they stop doing the basic framing properly, if they stopped computing angles the right way and decided to completely abandon their hammer, the career wouldn't last very long. So just as the carpenter has to nail those basics, yes, that was a carpenter pun, so do you have to nail the basics of your sales business. So if you wanna stop sucking at selling, you have to master the basics and do them often. Uh, every single thing with our business is basic. That's why we do so well. Uh, it's very simple, it's very difficult, but it's very simple. It's very hard. 
is in hard work, but the system itself is very simple. And the basics are the daily function of what every one of our coordinators do. And that's why we um, see so much success uh, within our business is because we keep everything simple and basic. The second reason that you might suck at selling is that you spend 90% of your day on things that just don't matter. So I've talked about this a number of times. We had a road to legacy episode here recently. We've had maybe another sales rules podcast about this, but auditing your day. It's so important that you start looking at your day and starting to identify the gaps of time that you're just wasting. Those gaps may be a minute or two. Those gaps may be an hour or two, but finding those little bits of time throughout your day that you're focusing on non-income producing activities, that you're focusing on things that don't matter when it comes to making sales and making a living. Once you figure out where they are and once you, once you become aware of them, then it's taking those that time and doing something productive with it. And so when you do that, you're going to want to go by this method. And this is just one that I would recommend. Set a calendar reminder in your phone for every 30 minutes. So for an entire day, a couple of days, if you want to be extra sure that you're doing the right thing, but for a day, set a reminder in your phone every 30 minutes to go back and look at what did I do over the last 30 minutes? And then just be honest with yourself, make a note. What did I do over the last 30 minutes? And any of those things that you were doing that were time wasters or that weren't income producing activities, how can I then eliminate those? How can I delegate those? How can I figure out a way to avoid doing those things which weren't productive to do something which is productive and income producing? So think about the, the times that you're checking your email, the times that you're scrolling through social uh, media, the times that you're you know, getting caught up in conversation, the times that you're allowing a lunch to linger on, the time that you're allowing a break to linger on. Linger on. All of those different areas of time, maybe five minutes here and there that add up to hours of time in your day that are being wasted. The third and final reason why you may or may not suck at selling is you refuse to ask for help. You know, maybe you see asking for help as a sign of weakness. Maybe you've gotten to a point in your career where you have had success and now you look at asking for help as that sign of weakness to those that are trying to compete and be like you, those that are maybe even you're a mentor to. Um, but this all comes down to ego. You have to ask for help. You have, have to find people um, search for people that are doing your job or doing a similar job to a higher degree than you are, seek out these people and figure out how in the world they're doing what they're doing. Um, you know, they, they talk about the five people that you, you know, surround yourself with, that you'll become the average of those. But what I have found is it's not just the ones that are successful. Yes, of course, it's, it's great to surround yourself with successful people, but you want to spend a disproportionate amount of time with those people that are successful and are still hungry and are still going after, you know, even loftier and loftier goals. And so surrounding yourself with hungry people that you can ask questions to, and that will be honest with you and give you frank answers. Um, that's going to be a huge advantage to you. A good salesperson takes advantage of every resource available to them. And one of the quotes that my uh, counterpart, Joseph Caldwell, who is literally grabbing my calf right now and just bit my ankle as he's crawling across the floor in our office because he, he just walked in. He always says, I'd rather be rich than right. I'd rather be rich than right. And I'd rather certainly be rich than on the ground biting someone else's ankle. <laughs> <laughs> but your ego can be your worst enemy in this situation. If you don't know something, or if you feel like you're just getting a little rusty in some area, find someone that's doing it better. That person. <laughs> no, it is not a cry for help. I'm actually glad you're here. This is a one man intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, oh, yeah. Joseph just walked in and now he's walking out. Uh, but your ego can be your worst enemy. And so you have to learn to kill it, kill it being kill the ego and seek answers for the things that you're struggling with. Seek assistance in the things that are prohibiting you from getting to that next level. And I promise you, if you do these three things, so let's recap. Sticking to the basics, because some people just think basics are for beginners and that's just ridiculous. So sticking to those fundamental things that got you to where you are or that are stopping you from getting to where you need to be. The second, um, which was 
spending 90% of your time on things that don't matter, which you might realize it's even more than that. So focusing your time, having income producing activities built into your schedule and booking out and time blocking your schedule so that you are being most efficient with your time. And then the last thing, not being uh, afraid of asking for help. If you can do those three things, those three things alone will help you not suck at selling and uh, more than likely will transform uh, your business. So Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this podcast. I hope you enjoyed the interruption from Joseph. Even though you didn't see him, you could probably hear him for those that watch and don't listen to the podcast. Um, guys, do me a favor. Go to iTunes and hit the subscribe button on the Sales Rules Podcast. If you've gotten any value out of any of the podcasts we put out, this is episode 130. That's a lot of content out there. If you've ever gotten any help, hit the subscribe button and do me this favor. Leave a review. Let people know what they can expect to get if they stumble upon this podcast and press play. It would mean the world to me for you to do that. And uh, as always, this is the Sales Wolves Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah-hoo!